final inspection team and close that crew have entered the pad. Copy that. It's shuttle launch day. Dressed in bright orange protective suits, an elite group heads to the launch pad where a space shuttle awaits liftoff. But this crew isn't made up of astronauts heading for space. It's the final inspection team. The final inspection team has seven members on it. We uh, have two photographers. We have an infrared camera operator. We have a member from safety. We have uh, two people looking with binoculars, inspecting the whole tank and taking notes on what we find. And we have a person sending photographs, images back to the firing room on a laptop computer. During a time when most workers are cleared from the launch pad, this group spends more than two hours inspecting the fully fueled vehicle. It's a beautiful sight up close. And when you're there at that moment, you only know just a very few people are allowed the privilege of being out here. The crew, the people that support the crew to get them on board, and ourselves, that's all. And so it's special. But it's very personal, it's very real. The final inspection team has the crucial and potentially dangerous job of inspecting the spacecraft, external tank, and solid rocket boosters for the last time before launch. They look for any unusual ice buildup caused by the super cold propellants, earning them the nickname, the Ice Team. The inspection includes looking for any debris or damage that could endanger the shuttle and the astronauts after liftoff. Using their cameras, binoculars, infrared sensors, and other equipment, team members begin their inspection at the launch pad's 255-foot level. They methodically work their way down the launch pad service structure, checking in with launch control at each level. Right now we're at the 215 level, and this is a pretty extensive level for us because we head out on the haunch to do a close-up inspection of the tank and the SRBs, and we can go around on the RSS platform to look at the front side of the orbiter. Along the way, they electronically send images back to the Launch Control Center for analysis. Uh, imagery is really what we're all about. Uh, we are responsible for giving the launch team, the launch director, and the crew uh, assessment via imagery of how the space vehicle is ready to go for flight and post-flight. How did it perform on post-flight? The team finishes its inspection at the base of the shuttle stack on the surface of the mobile launch platform. There, they check solid rocket booster aft skirts, as well as under the external tank and the main engines. After departing the pad, they head back to launch control where the team leader reports their findings to the launch director. Final inspection team is complete and we'll be rolling back to AB-11. Copy that. From consoles in the launch control center, they continue monitoring through the rest of the countdown using the remote cameras as the shuttle's final checks are completed. Then comes the pivotal moment when the main engines ignite, the solid rocket boosters thunder, and the spacecraft roars off the pad amid billows of smoke and steam. Ground and onboard cameras capture the shuttle's ascent and separation from the boosters and tank, allowing the team to begin analyzing the results before ending a 12-hour day. It's all in a launch day's work for the final inspection team.